Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to our um, art activity. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. So today, um, I'm going to be using simply paper and crayons. Now, again, it's totally up to you. You could do this in pencil first. You could do this with markers, paint. You could do it digitally on your iPad or on your computer if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. So today we're going to be doing a directed drawing, which is where um, I draw shapes and you guys follow along. Um, you know, sometimes um, in these videos I'm going a little quickly. That's okay. All you need to do is pause your video and catch up. That's the beauty of um, posting these videos to YouTube is you guys can pause them and rewind them as many times as you want to make sure that you guys um, are following through with all these steps. So I just wanted to throw that reminder out before we got started. And today we are going to be drawing a llama together. So let's get this uh, show on the road and draw our beautiful llama. So I'm starting with my paper tall ways. You could do this wide ways as well, it's up to you. Um, I'm just gonna do it tall ways. What we're gonna start out with is we're gonna be doing um, a cloud motion with um, a cloud like line shape with, um, I'm using a black crayon, like I said, you could use a pencil or a marker. And we're just going to do a cloud. And it's gonna be a weird shaped cloud. So we're gonna come around first like doing a straight line and we're gonna come around like an L, except for instead of an L with straight um, lines, we're doing our cloud lines. Then we're gonna come up, but we're only gonna come up about halfway. So we're gonna close it off like we're doing a square, but we're only gonna do these lines halfway. So we have our middle point, we're only gonna do them halfway and then we're going to go inward towards this line, but we're not gonna go all the way. We're only gonna go about two thirds of the way. So I'm gonna put my finger there so I know where to stop. There we go. And then we are going to go, we have an imaginary line up here. We're gonna follow that and we're then gonna come down. So our llama shape, it's funny because llama starts with L and it kind of looks like we have a giant L cloud going on. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some triangle shapes for ears. Um, they're a little rounded, so they kind of look like an unfinished leaf, actually, how those uh, two lines kind of bow towards each other. And then we are going to do a little um, half circle, little backward C shape for the tail. Next, we're going to do um, our legs. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna do, it's gonna be like a popsicle, popsicle stick shape or like a very thin U. And then, because of perspective, this leg is gonna be behind it. We're gonna draw it coming from behind it like that. So that's like a J shape. Same thing on the other one. We're gonna draw um, a big thin U shape and then the one coming from behind it is another J shape. There we go. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background playing. Okay, so then we're gonna do the cloud shape again. Small right there. So just a straight line. And that's gonna be the top of our llama's hair. Our little like uh, hair coming all over the face because they don't have fur on their face. And then we're gonna do a big U shape for where the llama's head's gonna be. We're gonna do two dots for eyes, simple. And then we are going to um, do our little nose. So I'm just kind of doing a circle, but instead of connecting, oh, my crayons are smearing. Instead of connecting right there, we kind of have a little, I did a little triangle. And then instead of going all the way around, well, I guess it's an oval, it goes up and then there's a little triangle right there. But feel free to make it your own. You don't have to do it exactly like I do. And now we're gonna add um, some decorations to our llama. So feel free to add whatever kind of decorations you want. I'm just adding a little dot and line, dot and line necklace. I'm gonna do another one. Then we're gonna do kind of like a little saddle decoration. I'm just adding 
some details. I did a little like U shape with dotted lines. This one's a U shape with some more of those cloud shapes coming off of it. Again, it's totally up to you. I'm doing some more with the line and the dot. This is your masterpiece. You can decorate it however you want to. And I'm gonna finish it off with some decorative stars in the background of our cute little llama. So at this point, you've basically created a coloring page for yourself. So you can color it however you'd like. Ooh, I wish I had my watercolor ready because I think that would be really cool um, over the crayons. But um, yeah, it's time to color it in. So like I said, we've just created a coloring page for ourselves. So we can really color it however we would like. And create your wacky and fun llama. figure out what kind of coloring I want my llama to be. I feel like llama's faces are like tan. And then llamas can definitely be different colors. I actually, um, at one point, I lived for a very short time, I lived on a farm where they hatched chickens and the llamas guarded the chickens. So I actually lived with some llamas at one point honestly pretty cool so i'm just going to add some texture actually i'm not going to directly color mine in i'm doing it lightly with a gray i'm spiraling um my crayon to create a texture that looks like fur which you could do too or you, you could color it in however you like but i want mine to look furry so i'm going to use a texture that imitates fur and then you could either leave your background or you could color it in. Um, I think I'm gonna add some clouds. Is my llama floating through the sky? Maybe, or should I add it on the ground? I'm gonna put my llama on the ground. I don't think I'm gonna do a flying llama, although a flying llama would be pretty darn cool, I have to say. But I'm gonna put my llama on some flat ground, on some grass, where my llama can be happy. I'm gonna add a couple more clouds. I'm just gonna color in my background with a beautiful bright blue sky. Our llama is happy. Our llama is living its best of life, honestly. On the grass, a beautiful sunny day with beautiful blue sky. Oh, that's what I should add. Should add a little sunshine because it's a beautiful sunny day, like I said. We got the beautiful sun going on. Pretty sun rays. All right, go llama go.
And there it is. Our final llama is complete. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think our llama is very adorable. I hope you guys had fun creating your llama. I'm excited to see how they all turned out. I can't wait for you to share them with me. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Have a great rest of your day.